Hello everyone and welcome to Kids Yoga. If you have some blocks or a mat, you can grab those now. Also, I have I have a little avocado, but if you have a stuffed animal or something that you want to grab as well, it can do the yoga with you. It can sit and watch whatever you want. I like this little avocado though, so he sits right next to me. And grab whatever you need and I will meet you on your mat. I just have to move back here for mine. <sighs> Perfect. Well, so we will start with one of our mindful kid cards. And since it's been raining a lot, this one is called Rain Shower, right? I thought it suited with the current weather. So once everyone is sitting have a seat on your mat any way that's comfortable for you let your hips and your bones sort of sink into the floor right nice and grounded and then keeping that spine nice and long so like there's a little string pulling the top of your head pulling you up so your shoulders are down but your head is reaching up so you can really feel this whole part of your body working your spine is nice and straight nice and then just begin to close your eyes you can just lower your gaze if you would like to look at the floor or close your eyes and take three soft slow mindful breaths so mindful breaths right that means we're just paying attention to our breath we're not just breathing regularly regularly you know what I mean so inhaling in through the nose take a big inhale in through your nose and a long exhale back out through your nose. Good, just feeling your lungs expanding on the inhale and contracting on the exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good, so now I want you to pay attention to the thoughts that are in your mind. Okay, are they busy, busy, busy? So just take a moment and think, just organize all those thoughts in your mind. See, what are you thinking about right now? And then imagine those thoughts as dust clinging to your skin, okay? So maybe your house is like my house and there's dust everywhere. And you know, you notice and you put your finger through it and it comes off on your finger, right? So imagine that dust clinging to your body. That dust is the, all those crazy, busy thoughts in your mind. Now imagine going out into a nice, warm, pleasant rain, right? So in the summer, it's warm. The rain washes off all the dust and it washes your thoughts away. Watch them drain away with the water. Imagine the sun comes out and dries your skin and clothes. Right? So imagine like when you get out of a pool or a lake or whatever in the summer and you come out of the water and all those little droplets on your body begin to slowly dry up because of the sun. Right? You can feel like a little tingle sometimes. So imagine the sun is drying you off. Take three more soft and slow mindful breaths. And as you do this, notice whether you feel more at ease. Right, and these breaths can be like balloon breaths, right? So imagine there's a balloon in your belly. Inhale, we blow up the balloon. Exhale, it deflates. One more time. Exhale, it deflates. Nice job. So sometimes it takes practice to let your thoughts drain away, right? Because your mind holds on to them. But the more you practice, the more, the easier it will be to be able to let those thoughts go and just let them wash away like the rain. Good, so now bring your hands to your knees 
and inhale to open your heart up. Gaze can go up towards the sky. Stretch in your throat and exhale to round. Good, make it like a C with your upper body. Inhale and exhale. Coming back to neutral, bringing your arms up and over on that inhale. And then exhale, bring them back down. All right, just like the rays of the sun. Imagine your arms are rays of the sun reaching up and spreading down. One more time, arms reach up, those rays of sun shooting out. Good, and then bring one hand to the floor and we're gonna reach our other arm up and over. Good, really stretching that whole side body here. You can feel that stretch all the way down your side, just as we're warming up. And then we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna bring our arms up and over, making a little rainbow with our arms. And switch up and rainbow. One more time. And coming back to center. Good. Bring those shoulders up and down. Rolling your shoulders backwards. And then stop and then roll them forwards. Good. And then just move your arms. Shake them all out. Then reach your arms out to the sides. And keeping those arms out, we're just gonna turn, we're gonna twist from our belly. So just our belly's moving, our arms stay nice and long. And come back and switch sides. And come back one more time. Good, and then just move back and forth a couple of times. Just getting our spine nice and warmed up. Good. Does your spine feel warm? I hope so. Bring those feet. We want to bring the soles of the feet together, right? So we're sort of making like a butterfly position here. Inhale, holding on to the ankles or the feet or even the legs. Inhale, and then we're going to hinge forward. Maybe our arms come out in front of us. Our knees definitely do not have to touch the floor. My knees do not touch the floor and that's okay. As long as um, this doesn't hurt, right? You don't want it to hurt. So just stretching those hips, reaching forward. And coming back and then bring the knees in and straighten your legs out and just shake them out. Good, right? If you put your little stuffed animal there, see if you can shake them off and I'm not gonna be able to do it. Shake them down your legs like a little slide. Arms reach up overhead super long body and hinge forward touching the toes you can bend your knees here if you cannot reach your toes my knees are a little bent and that's okay keeping your back and your spine nice and long just stretching here and then take i'm going to use my left hand to my right foot and my right hand to my left foot just make an x with your arms Feel a little deeper stretch in the back, in those shoulder blades. And come all the way up and shake it out. Good, crisscross your legs, bring your hands to the floor and just make your way to a tabletop position. Our hands come under our wrists, knees under our ankles. Nice, good. And then we're gonna take a couple of cat cows here. So on our inhale, we're gonna drop our belly and look up to our tail, right? So you can wag your tail. Our tail and our gaze go up. And on our exhale, we round our spine. Let our head fall down, right? Like an angry cat, you know, when they get really angry and their whole, all the hair on their back stands up. And then inhale to our cow, exhale to cat. One more time, inhale, gaze goes up. Exhale to cat. 
coming back to neutral. And then just walk your hand so that now your fingers are pointing to the outsides of your mat. And just rock side to side here, stretching our wrists. And when you're ready, coming back to neutral. And then walking the hands to face the knees. So you might have to adjust a little here. And this might not be super comfortable, but just really feeling that stretch in that wrist, right? That forearm. And you can move side to side, just kind of forward and back if it feels comfortable. And then turn them back to center. Perfect. Bring those big toes together. Our knees are going to come out. We're going to sink our hips back like we're coming into a child's pose, but just walking those hands a little bit forward, but pushing into the hands. So we're really feeling our hips going towards our feet. So you really want your hips to really reach those feet if they can. So your whole upper body's not coming down, just pushing into those hands. And then using those hands, we're gonna pull our body forward and our feet can come up, right? Do you ever do that in gymnastics? And then go back, push the hips down. And then pull forward, hips come towards the floor, feet can go up, gaze can go up. One more time. Back towards child's pose, pulling forward, a little bit of a back bend. And coming back to our tabletop. Nice job. So from here, we're going to step our right foot back and then our left coming to a plank pose. So you're nice, solid flat board right here. Good. And then bring that right knee up and back. Then bring the left knee up and back. Right, left. And then maybe go a little bit faster. Pretend you're climbing up a mountain, right? And the floor is the mountain. We're going up sideways, right? So if we flip the camera, it would be like we are climbing up our mountain. And maybe go a little faster and pull the knees in. Keeping that back nice and flat. And stop. Come back to tabletop. Good job. And now we're going to make our way into our down dog. So curling our toes. Hips reach up and back. Let your head hang nice and heavy here. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Hips reach up. Maybe you wag your tail here. Or bend one knee and then the other. Take your dog for a walk. Do, 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 do. That lots of people have been giving their dogs extra walks. One more breath. And on your exhale, walk your feet. Come to your tippy toes and walk your feet up towards your hands at the top of your mat. Folding over. Coming to our ragdoll. Good. And then slowly rolling all the way up to stand. Arms reach up over our head. And then hinge forward, coming back to that forward fold. And then just move side to side. Right? So imagine that you are collecting flowers, right? We're putting them in a basket, collecting our flowers. And then we're gonna lift up nice and slowly, lift up our basket and throw it up towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. And let those flowers fall back to the ground. Go ahead and collect all those flowers again. Put them into your basket. Bring that basket up nice and slow. Bring it up, throw the flowers. And let them fall back to the earth. Good, because there's one thing that comes from all the rain, right? That's flowers. Bring your hands to your shins, making a nice flat back, looking forward. Hmm, see, do you see any more flowers? Any dirt? Maybe you're looking for some worms. And that nice fresh dirt. And forward fold. Slowly rolling up to stand. Nice job. Staying at the top of your mat. Inhale those arms up overhead. And clasp your hands together. Good. 
just like this. Keep your hands clasped together, like the palms are flat. And then interlace the fingers and just release your pointer fingers. So your pointer fingers are pointing up. You're reaching up super tall, inhale. And on your exhale, you're gonna come bend to one side, creating like a C, right? So your hips go out in the opposite direction as your hands. And come back to center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to the other side. Good. And come up one more time, other side, C. Might be a backward C. And come back. And other side. And up, inhale, release those hands and bring your hands to heart center. Nice job. And blow it out. Every time I do that, I like to imagine that I picked a dandelion, you know, the little yellow ones, and you blow when they, the turns, the yellow goes away and they sort of die and it's just like the puffy seeds and you just blow them. So anytime we take a big inhale, inhale, and then exhale, blow it out. You can imagine you're blowing out that, blowing those flower seeds all over the place. And separate your legs so they're a little bit wider than hips width. And your toes are sort of pointing out at a diagonal. Bend your knees and sink down. We're coming into our horse pose here. Bending our knees. Our arms come up like a cactus or goal post. Good. And then just turning from just that belly button, turn to one side. And come back. Turn to the other side. Just checking out what other cactuses we got, cacti, we got going on around us. And again, turn and back and turn. Good. And then reach up. Straighten those legs for just a second. Inhale, exhale, back down. Nice, one more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, back down. Nice, then bring those hands to those knees. Right, so you can really push into those legs a little bit here, feel a little deeper stretch. And you're gonna bring one shoulder to the opposite knee. And then switch. And then switch. Good, one more time each side. And then straighten the legs, hands can come to the floor. And then slowly roll back up. Perfect, so you should still be in sort of this wide stance. So turning just our right toes towards the top of our mat. And our left toes are gonna be parallel with the back of our mat. Okay, so they should be fairly close to that. And then bend that right knee and make your way right into our warrior two. Super strong, our arms are active and strong, right? Warriors are super strong. Gonna show your strength and your bravery in your warrior pose. And then flip that front palm and reach up and breathe back. And come forward to warrior two. And reverse. And come back to warrior two. Nice. And then bring both arms in and hug you. Hug yourself so that back arm, your left arm comes under your right. Just grab for those opposite shoulders. And just give yourself a little hug here. And reach back out. And straighten that front knee. And bring both toes towards the front again. And just switch sides. So this time our left toes point towards the end of our mat. So probably the back of your mat. And our right toes are parallel with the front and the back. And bend that left knee. Nice. So our arms are just as strong on this side as they were on the other side. You want your shoulders, you want your shoulders up here. So sometimes it helps to flip those palms like you're carrying trays and then flip them back and flip and reverse reach up and over and back to warrior two and reverse and back to warrior two 
Good, and then we're gonna hug ourselves again, uh, this time on the other side. So our right arm is gonna come under this time, just like our left came under last time. Just give yourself a little hug. And reach back up. Hands can come to hips and both feet face the front again. Nice, holding your hands right at the base of your spine, right, like you are putting your hands in your the pockets of your jeans if you're wearing jeans. Inhale to open your heart. On our exhale, we're gonna hinge forward, keeping our back super, super flat, right, super straight. And then you can bring your hands to the floor. Let your head hang down. See my ponytails just flopping around. And we're gonna bend into our right knee here. Bend into our right knee and lift our left toes. So coming into this sort of side lunge. Good, and you can try to balance, bringing your hands up to your heart. Nice. And then switch to the other side. So you can put your hands down to switch or you can try to switch without doing that sort of did that not very it's not very graceful good and then maybe switch back left and one more time and right and backwards right and left and hands can come to the floor hips reach up coming to that forward fold And slowly rolling back up to stand. Good. And just step your feet together. You can shake them out. <clears throat> so we are going to, if you have blocks, keep them near the front of your mat. I'll show you all the poses with and without the blocks, but just if you have them, keep them the front of your mat. So we're going to inhale our arms up and over our head. And then our exhale, we're going to forward fold. Planting our palms and stepping back to that plank pose that we started at. Good. Get, just settle here. And then slowly lower your body down. Keeping that bump nice and tucked. Lowering down. Elbows in. Nice fluid motion. Pushing into the tops of the feet. Just inhale your head and chest up. And look around. Maybe you push up to a full cobra. Looking around, right? Thinking of some other snakes, maybe. Maybe you just want to be a garter snake, so you're not quite so scary. And lower down. One more time. Push all the way up. And come to that tabletop. Nice work. We're going to step our right foot between our hands. So that left knee is going to stay on the ground. Her right foot's going to come up between her hands. Coming into like a low lunge here with our left knee down. We're going to plant our left hand and our right arm's going to reach up and open. Nice twist. Breathing here, keeping those shoulders nice and stacked and lined. And bring the hand down and walk it back, coming to a half a split. Stretching under that leg. Good. And then come forward and lift up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Last time, exhale back to half a split. And walk forward. And our right foot's now going to walk like it's going back to our tabletop, but it's gonna stop halfway between our left hand and our left knee. We're gonna bring our left hand to the middle of our mat, and we're just gonna twist up, coming into a modified side plank. Very good. So if that left knee, if you would like, you can come to that left foot, the outside of that left foot, to make it a little bit more challenging. Good, one more breath. And the arm can come down and just make your way back to that tabletop. Nice. And just take a set of cat cows here. Good. 
so we can take the other side. So this time, left foot steps between our hands. Right knee stays down. So settle first, and then plant that right hand on the floor. Left arm reaches up, gently twisting. You really want those hips to stay square, so your hand can stay right here if you want. You can reach it up. And come down and walk those hands back. Half spread. Good. And then we'll go through that little flow again. So we come forward and we can reach up and exhale. Stretch back and forward and back. One more time. Forward and back nice and then we will come to that modified uh, side plank on this side Just move this way so that left foot now is gonna walk halfway back between that right hand and that right knee and then turn to that side and again that right you can come to the outside of that right foot to make it a little bit more challenging And arm down, and back to our table. Nice work. Bring those big toes together, sink those hips down, and come to a child's pose here. Let your head rest on the floor. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. When you're ready, make your way back to your tabletop. Curl those toes and reach your hips up and back. Nice. We're gonna step our right foot between our hands. Come into a low runner's lunge, right? So our knees up this time. And then inhale to a high lunge. Good job. Nice. And we are going to, from here, we're going to do a couple of balancing poses from here. So from here, we're going to come into airplane first. So we want our arms to come down behind us. So our arms are going to be reaching behind us. And we're going to put all our weight onto that right leg and lift our left. Good. Keeping our hips square. Your chest is up, right? If your chest is falling down, your plane's crashing. And we don't want to be a plane that's crashing. Right? And maybe you fall out like I just did. And that's okay. You can just try it again. And step to the front of your mat. Good. Inhale those arms up. Exhale to heart center. Nice work. So if you have a block, you're going to grab it in your right hand. I'm just going to do this to the other side so it's easier for you to see. But we're still working with that right side. So our right foot. So you guys are here. You're going to step your left foot back. Okay. So step that left foot back, block is in your right hand. If you don't have a block, I will show you what to do after. So we are going to bring that right block to the floor diagonally in front of our right foot. And then we're going to bring our weight onto that right hand and that right foot, and then open up to a half moon. Very good. you don't have a block you can do this maybe a little higher so you're just sort of balancing or again if you have a wall you can use a wall to help support you you can use a chair whatever you have nice one more breath and calm down nice job shake it all out perfect inhale those arms up and let that rain come down. Plant your hands and step back to that down dog. Good. Now I'm going to do the same thing the other side. So left foot steps forward. Coming to that low lunge. Inhale to our high lunge. Settle here. Good. 
and we we're making our way back to that airplane, right? So our arms come down behind us. This time, our all our weight's gonna come to that left foot, right? Maybe see, you can fall right out of it. I hadn't even started yet. So everything comes to the left foot, lifting the right leg, keeping the hips square, arms reach back, gaze is straight ahead, keeping that chest lifted. Good, one more round of breath, and step to the front. Nice, grabbing that block if you have one. This time in your left hand. So step your right foot back. You don't really have to be in any sort of position because we're going to move into something else. So just step it back so that your legs are separated. Block in the left hand, 6 to 12 inches in front of that left foot. And then bringing that weight onto that left leg and that left hand. And then stacking those hips and shoulders. You can also do this up against a wall, too, if you don't want to focus on the balance. It's our half moon. Good. And foot comes down. Move your block. And roll up to stand. Nice job. Shall we check where we are? Perfect. Arms reach up and over your head. Good. Bring your hands to heart center. And keep those big toes together and sink your hips down, coming into a chair pose. All right, so it looks like we're sitting in a chair. All right, we're sinking into a chair. All right, so if there was a chair right here, whoop, I could sit right down. Good, and then hinge forward, keeping that bend in those knees. Now we're going to inhale, we're going to reach all the way up. And come all the way up onto our tippy toes. And exhale, hinge all the way forward, keeping those knees bent. Torso coming forward, arms reaching back. Then inhale to reach all the way back up. Good, exhale down. So take a breath here, and I want you to imagine that we are looking at the stars and the planets and the universe. Okay, so we're just looking at everything. And on our inhale, we're going to reach up like we could touch the stars. Reach, reach, reach. Think about maybe what star you would touch or maybe a constellation or a planet, the Milky Way, whatever you would like to reach. Reach, reach, reach. And then exhale to fold. Good. Just let that head hang down. Maybe shake your head yes and no here. Make a circle. Good. And roll all the way up to stand. We are going to step our left foot back. Coming to that high lunge. Left foot back. Arms can reach up. They can also stay at your hips. I'll keep mine at my hips. Take one last inhale, really lengthen that spine on the inhale. Now on our exhale, we're going to open to that warrior two. Nice, our arms reach out. Flip and reverse that warrior. And come back to stand. And we're going to go into our side angle. So we're going to reach our right side forward. And bring that right arm to that right knee. Left arm reaches up. Keeping our shoulders stacked here, right? So sort of like we could pancake against the wall if, you know, we thought to try that. And reach up and straighten that knee to reverse. Reversing our triangle. Coming back to stand, keeping our front knee straight, right? But you don't want to lock it out. So it goes like really far in. You want to keep a little bend in it so your legs are still active. And then reach forward and hinge down to a triangle. Good, reaching up and reverse our warrior. And come back to our triangle and reverse our warrior. Good, and come back to stand. 
And make your way back to that high lunge. Left arm forward, right arm back, twist. Nice. Back to center. And step to the front. Just gonna fix my mat. It has likes to move. Now let's take the same thing on the other side. So this time step our right foot back. Right foot steps back to that high lunge. Arms can go up or then come to your hips. I'm going to bring mine to my hips. Good. Really feeling those hips squaring here. Inhale and exhale. Open to that warrior two. Nice and wide. Flip. Then reverse and coming to our side angle on the other side. So our left arm reaches up and up. Good. You can see my fingers are reaching up towards the sky, right? Maybe I'm still thinking about that universe, those planets, the stars, comets. And reverse that triangle, straightening your front knee. Coming back to standing, making our way right into our triangle. Perfect. So the only thing that changes from our side angle to our triangle is that knee straightens. And reverse. Then triangle. And reverse. And triangle and back and then make your way back to that high lunge this time right arm forward left arm back open T twist here arms come up and step to the front of your mat good shake it all out and now we are going to do another balance pose. So we did a few today, and that's okay. Balance poses are fun. So today we are going to do dancer. So if you have good balance, you can do this just standing on your mat. If you want a wall, use the wall to help you. That's totally fine. So I will use the wall just so that I don't fall while I'm trying to show you what to do. So I'm going to root into my left leg. I'm going to bend my right knee. My right hand's gonna reach back for the inside of that right foot. Okay, just like this. And you can stay right here. If this is enough for you, you can stay right here. Or you can hinge forward so that left arm can come up. Nice job. Focusing on your breathing, rooting into that left leg. Nice release and drop. Perfect. And then we'll take the other side. So this time rooting into that right foot, bend that left knee, and reach that left hand back toward the inside of that left foot. Okay, so this is really stretching your shoulder as well as your leg. And then you can hinge forward. Clearly I'm using the wall here which makes me, it goes a little deeper. So I'm not working so much on my balance right now, but I'm still doing a much deeper stretch than I would do if I was just balancing. Because I can really push into the wall so I can make my stretch deeper. And come back up. And shake it out. Nice job coming back to the top of your mat. Inhale those arms up. And exhale, come to our chair. Good. From our chair, we're going to hinge forward and we're going to bring our left elbow to our right knee. Just like that. Yeah. Pushing into both hands, twisting open. If you like to butterfly your arms, you can open your arms like a butterfly. Maybe you can wiggle your fingers. And forward fold. Good. Stepping your feet about hips width apart. 
You're gonna use your peace fingers, right? These are your peace fingers. You're gonna grab your big toes. Inhale and flatten your back here. And then exhale to fold. Hold, pulling on those toes. And release. Feet can come back together. And make your way back to that chair. Arms come up. Heart center. And twist to the other side. So hinging forward. This time right elbow comes to the outside of that left knee. And using those hands to twist you deeper. And fold. Heel till those feet apart. This time we want our toes pointed out and we're gonna make our way into a squat pose. We're gonna bend our knees and bring our hips towards the floor. You want your heels to stay on the floor. So if your heels keep popping up, you can take a block. You can sit right on a block, right? Cause you're still getting the stretch here. If you wanna try sort of the balance, you don't need to use a block. And just planting our left hand on the mat, right on the inside of that left knee, reach your right arm up. And switch right hand down, left arm up. Good, both hands down. And find a seat on your mat. Nice and graceful there. Good, bring your big toes together. So your soles, your feet come together. Your toes are touching. And just flap those little butterfly wings. Relaxing here. Good. So keeping your left foot in, we're going to stretch our right foot out. See, there's that dust clinging to my feet. And that left foot's going to come right to the inside of that left, uh, right thigh. Okay? So your right leg's at a diagonal. So you're going to turn your body so that it's square with your right leg and hinge forward. There are a few different variations here. If you want to grab your foot with your right hand, you can do that and you can bring your left hand behind your back. Just a little bit different. You can come up, back to butterfly, and flapping our wings. Just move this step out of the way. And switch sides so our left foot comes out, right foot comes in. Body squares, hinging down. But if you want to grab that left foot, your right arm can come behind your back. So stretch and a twist. And back to our butterfly. Flap those wings. Very good. And then crisscross the feet. And just let those wrists, let's move those wrists around. Turn them one way, and then stop and go the other way, right? Maybe you make some designs. Maybe you write some letters. I can't think, figure out how to write a letter, right, with your hands. Or numbers, you can maybe make it like an eight. Mm, I can't do that right now. Whatever you want while you're moving those hands. Good. And then we're going to reach those arms behind us. And forward and back and crisscrossing the arms. Different arm coming on top. Good. And stop. And then rolling our shoulders. Nice. Bring your hands to your knees so that your shoulders just drop from the ears and you're just, in this whole part of your body is nice, relaxed. And bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Nice stretch along the opposite side of your neck and switch sides. Good. And then you're going to bring your chin to your, towards your chest. Stretch the back of your neck. And then coming back to center, reach your chin up towards the ceiling and letting your head drop back, but not so much that you can't swallow because you, that's not comfortable. So don't do that. 
so you can feel a stretch in the front of your throat here. But see, I can still talk and I can still swallow. You don't want to go back so far that it's not good for you. Good. And then one more time, each side, right, left, forward, back, and center. Good. And then just turn your gaze. Right, your gaze goes towards your right shoulder and towards your left. Pretend somebody's tapping you, you know. People come up behind you and they tap on the right and they tap you on the left. Yeah. Try to catch them before they can tap you. Good. Nice. And if you brought a stuffed animal, just grab it. Mine's little, but if you have a big one, give it a big squeeze, right? Give it a big squeeze. If you don't, then just give yourself a big squeeze, right? Squeeze, tense up, belly muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, and then relax. And one more time, squeeze. And relax. Very nice job. So before we end, we are going to come to our back. You can use a block for this, but you do not have to. I like to use the blocks. So make your way to your back. So just laying on your spine, bending your knees so that your feet are flat. And I'm gonna take the block and put it right under my hips and then rest my hips on the block, just like that. And your hands can be by your sides. And then if it's comfortable, just walk your feet out. Really feeling those hips release. What a stretch in your back. And walking the feet back in, pushing into the block and moving our block out of the way. Nice. This time we're gonna push into our feet and our hands. We're gonna lift our hips up. And then lift your left leg and lower it. And lift your right leg and lower it. And lift those hips up super high. And lower down. Good, bring those knees in towards your chest and just rock side to side, massaging your back here. And then maybe rock forward and back, right? Giving your spine a massage that way. Good. Now you settle and just move. This time just move the knees in a circle. And then switch directions. Nice. And then reach those feet up and grab the outsides of those feet, pulling the feet down so your knees are coming towards your armpits. Coming to happy baby. You can stay, you can rock side to side. You can straighten into those legs. You can bend them more, whatever you want. Move around however you feel comfortable. You know, imagine you are a little baby because they like, to, they just move around. They do what feels good, right? And release, drop the feet. Good, so for our last pose, you can either use a block or you can use a wall, whichever works. I will demonstrate with the block. So you're gonna lay down, you're gonna push into those feet again and place the block under your hips, just like we did the first time. And this time you're gonna reach your feet up towards the ceiling. Okay, so if you're doing this against a wall, just push your bum up towards the wall and let your legs go straight up the wall. And then roll the ankles. Hear mine making noises. Reverse. Good. Just let them rest here. Maybe bend one knee and the other. Right? It's like we're walking on the ceiling. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Picture yourself in outer space. So it would feel like to walk without gravity. Pew. Legs reach up and bring them down. Nice job. And then you're gonna make your way into your Shavasana, your final resting pose. So your legs reach long down your mat. Arms can be by your sides, closing your eyes. Really just letting go here, just totally relaxing. 
And we are going to, this one's called Happy Hum. So our mindful breathing for the end. So keeping your body nice and straight and relax. So that's important to relax, okay? Let go of any tension in your legs and in your body. Unclench your jaw. Relax your face and your head, right? And just feel like you're melting into the floor. Good, keep your eyes closed and close your lips too. So if your mouth's open, close your lips. And then hum a few notes to yourself until you find one that you like. So maybe you just make up some notes. Maybe you have a song in your head that you hum, right? So let's see, I will hum. Right, so you're humming, so you're making a noise, you can feel that, but you're not using any words. I was watching musicals today, so Annie is in my head. Breathe in deeply. And then with your out breath, hum, right? So inhale. It can be anything, right? And hum out, breathe in. Hum out. Good. Press your hands to your chest. Now you can use one hand or you can put them both, both hands on your chest. And notice the vibrations of your humming. Okay, so inhale. What does it feel? How do you feel in your body when you're humming? What do you feel in your hands? What is your hand? How does it feel in your hands and your fingers and your palm? Now you can feel those vibrations. Breathe in, breathe out and hum. And let your humming send calm into your heart. And before you finish, quiet your humming and take three soft, slow, mindful breaths. You can even keep your hands in your heart or you can bring your hands to your belly. Good, two more. Perfect, nice work. Slowly bring your knees in towards your chest and roll to one side. And then make your way to a seated position on your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep inhale and let it go very hard to find calm in my house when everyone downstairs is super loud. So we are going to end with our, our little chime here, our chime time. So I will ring the chime, keep your eyes closed and just focus and listen for the chime as long as you can. And inhale, exhale. center. Bring the thumbs to your third eye. Take an inhale and blow out. Namaste. Thank you all for coming and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. It's supposed to be beautiful out tomorrow so get outside and enjoy.